Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Daniel Fenomera and today I will tell you about my hometown is the profile region of my hometown of Borneo Banjarmasin. I will explain more about my um, profile of my region and also the culture, the favorite food, the the language that we commonly use and also the culture. So, yeah. In the first one, so the first one I will tell you about my region profile. My my hometown is the capital city of South Borneo, Banjarmasin. Banjarmasin is one of the cities in the province of South Kalimantan, Indonesia, called the city of a flood Armasin or the city or a thousand rivers has an area of ninety eight point forty six kilometers. Uh, bordering which is a delta region of about 25 is a delta separated by rivers between the islands of Tatas, Kalayan Island, the Turkish Island, Insan, and others. To explain about the flora and fauna that we have in South Borneo, first well-known fauna is Bekantan. Bekantan are species of a big nose monkeys are a species of incarnation of Dutch colonialists condemned by Inland Diagnose Society. But they are the only myth that is um, circulating by um, Banjarnis people. Tell you about the flora that exists in our society in Banjarnis people. Um, this is the flora that maybe uh, my favorite one too. Um, ex actually, there are a lot of flora that live in South Borneo or in the jungle of South Borneo, but maybe I will focus at one. And this is exist and easy to find out in market traditional market in my um, in my place in my in my hometown. It's called the castory. The castory is same or similar as a mango. That is the family of mango, but the shape is more minimalized as mango as usual. And the smell is so good. And also the different from a mango usual than a castory is the shape. First one is the shape, and the second one is um, the color of the skin if mangoes um green to yellow or green to orange but um castory is more red so the skin mm -hmm. of that castory is green to red and the scientific name of that um of castory is mangivara castory talking about the vernacular or the language that we commonly use in every day in our life in Banjar society. We are commonly used in a Banjar language as the mother as the mother language or mother um, tongue. We don't we are rarely so many people rarely come and um, speak with Bahasa because we Thing that um, is very formal, so um, we use as uh, our daily languages is our daily language is Bahasa Banjar. And Banjarnis language is divided by two majors. First one is Banjar Kuala, and the second one is Banjar Hulu. What is the difference from two forms of that languages? So, in Banjar Kuala, uh, the difference is accent. So, the difference of Banjar Kuala and Banjar Hulu is the accent. I'm one of the Banjar Kuala um, user, and I speak with accent of Banjar Kuala not a Banjar um, Hulu because I live in a Banjar Masin in the central of South Borneo in the central in the city not in the inland city so I speak with 
Banjar Kuala. And Banjar Hulu is commonly used by people who live in inland South Borneo, such as Barabai, Hulu Sungai Selatan, Hulu Sungai Tengah, or Hulu Sungai Selatan. They commonly use mm-hmm. with uh, Banjar Hulu. And the dialect is very different with Banjar Kuala. They more, um, what is like, like, they speak with the same language, but they speak with a different language. But the different way, like the the tone of Banjar Hulu is more like this, and Banjar Kuala just like that, just flat. So that is the different. I'm using a Banjar Kuala. So we will talk about the food. Mmm, ooh, like food. I very like um, tasting about new food, and I will give you my recommendation. If you are enjoying or visiting in Banjar Masin, you have to you have to try this meal to try this food because this is very very good if you are visiting Banjarmasin and you don't eat this food you are not come into Banjarmasin you are um, not recognized um, in Banjar society that you have been uh, going to Banjarmasin so, Soto Banjar is different uh, from Soto in general in Indonesia. Various supplementary ingredients are used such as glass noodles, small pieces of uh, ketupat, boiled eggs, slices, potato chips, legs, and celery sticks. In the process of serving, the chicken that has been cooked earlier is shredded. Shredded, then the glass noodles, then add uh, glass noodles, potato cakes, and rambus were prepared into a bowl with a shredded chicken. And don't forget to sprinkle celery stalks and scallions. Then the material that has been entered into the bowl is flushed with a gravy. To overweight the taste, you can use or you can add uh, limes and also chili sauce with soy sauces or fried onions. Next is Nasi kuning masak habang. What is that? Nasi kuning is maybe you can or you ever found in your area on your region. Um, maybe that is the same um, in Banjarnis uh, food, Banjarnis meal. We you we use we consume that it too. Uh, nasi kuning or yellow rice are commonly found everywhere in my area because the taste is so delicious and also good because I love the spices that they use in that meal and the different and this is the different from another yellow rice in another place maybe in another place uh, commonly added with orek tempe but in our our society we don't use or tempe or um, what is like uh, rice noodles or adding some vegetables I found it exists in in West Java or in Bandung nasi kuning added with veggies I think that is weird because I never tried it before we also we always consume in my hometown by using a red um, red spices it contains by dried chili and other spices that i never known because my mom doesn't give me um what is like um they don't give me a clue about what it, what she ate into that red spices that red sauce so what it's called red masa habang is habang in Banjarnese language is it means red so nasi kuning masa habang is nasi kuning with a red sauce Monday, Monday is a cempedak skin if you are buying a cempedak they like this and then that cempedak they have a skin that cover up the fruit in inside that um, inside that whole fruit and that is we always consume so if you are buying uh, cempedak don't uh, get rid of all the skin but 
you can um, peel off the skin and then you can um, uh, what is like you can add some uh, salt or pepper in that skin cempedak and then you can fry it to the hot oil and then it tastes very good I really love this meal so much so maybe that's all that I can share with you about my hometown, South Borneo Banjarmasin. Then if you are curious about the what is it Banjarmasin or where is it? Where is it Banjarmasin? Maybe people in Javanese, especially in Bandung, they don't know where is Banjarmasin. Banjarmasin is on the South Borneo. South Borneo. We are in South Borneo. So don't forget about that. Thank you very much for watching me. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.